Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Good afternoon. Sean Higgs coming at you here. It's midday money on a Friday. Welcome on into the show the 19th of April. Hope everybody is super duper today. And uh, we'll do our little show. You know, I got a live with Ross after this. So we'll go about a half hour or so, 35 minutes. And I can load the show up, the midday money on the podcast form. Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google. What else is there? Apple Store, Android, Amazon, whatever. Midday money's there. Late night money's there. Just go there. Type in midday money comes up you'll see the little llama there you go subscribe to the channel also twitter mr sean hicks come give me a follow there on the youtubes winning free picks and sean hicks come check it out nba nhl plus well nba playing we're still in participation trophy mode with the with the bottom feeder teams who don't deserve a playoff spot they're still doing their playing game stuff today before the teams who actually deserve to be in the playoffs start tomorrow but we have NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, baseball. Let's go. Um, listen, I don't really hype premium kind of stuff, but you can get a weekly pass, $31.20 of promo code midday. All the plays. I mean, today, listen, I have, what, three, six. I got eight baseball games up. There are three NBA games for the weekend, and I didn't even jump into any hockey yet, so uh 31 20 for a week and that gets you one day you get 10 games i mean definitely worth it or you go to youtube you get winning free picks it's a uh follow the leaderboard you don't want me i'm gonna say with a bunch of guys roles are doing really well jesse shul comes in the chat he's pretty good it's just not me and the sean higg youtube channel it's premium Get a little membership there. You get plays. Go for it. Super Chat's available. Let's do this. We're going to do a quick little recap. We're going to put the picks in the chat, and away we go. Uh, what was the recap from 33 and 35 minus 40? I'm going to just put the plays in the comments section because, I, like I said, I got a live show after this. And we'll tweet these out in the Twitter world. Mr. Sean Higgs. There you go in Twitter world. Put these puppies up here in the chat as well as I recap. Uh, we did drop the donut yesterday. Detroit Neo, uh, Detroit Neo under Arizona. We are 33 and 35 minus 140 in the video. Player props. There was a two and one day yesterday, plus 190. Wonderful. 32 and 42 plus 1205. And we got a bunch of stuff for today. So let's get on it. Again, 33, 35 minus 140 in the video. Under Philly, that's the these last night. The late night money. Um, they move, they move. What am I going to do? I do a show, <laughs> try to get ahead of some numbers. You see what happens. Philly's under eight. Yankees run line added this morning. Uh, plus 125. Brew crew minus 125. And the D-backs with Monty plus 115. NBA 44 and 39 plus 340. In the video, we're taking the Bulls money line and the Kings money line. Nothing on the ice right now. Um We'll see. Maybe we have something tomorrow with these two games. Not quite sure where I'm going. Maybe unders. It is the playoffs. Player prop time. 32 and 42 plus 1205. They've been treating us pretty darn good. One of my lowest player props. I think the only one I had other than a plus 110 because everything's been higher was when I had a Volpe run at minus 110 or 115. So this is really the bottom tier for me here. I don't like to give out big minus numbers. I mean, you don't need to come into a show unless there's some guy give you a minus 290 or a 370 or a something crazy like that. So I'm going to try to give you some plus dollars here. That's over to plus dollar daddy, only fans champion. Azuna Ribby plus 110. RCO 165 and Harris 170. I mean, keep giving me points. Or keep giving me points. Keep giving me big plus money with these guys in a brave lineup. Sure. Uh, the Nats, a little Louis Garcia. The guy's hitting 295 for him. You're going to give me a plus 195? Hitting in, I think, the five hole? Listen, you got Winker and C.J. Abrams hitting ahead of him. And C.J. Abrams, good player, right? Came over in the, in the trade with the Padres. 
five homers, 11 ribbies, batting leadoff, 295 average. Uh, Winker's hitting like 360. Uh, he's getting on base. So I think we'll get some opportunities here against Verlander. I, I told you yesterday, there's no way I'm taking Verlander laying 170 here. So give me Garcia plus a 195. Soto, a 175 spot. I don't like really number two hitter kind of cats, but he's home. Maybe it's a homer today. 175, I think, is worth it. And as we go down, we got Volpe leading off at a plus 220 ribby. And Cabrera, bottom of the lineup at a 270 ribby because the guy's just breaking. I got his run at 175 because I think he's going to get on base and one of the guys behind him here are going to knock him in. That is my thinking there. And I have to give out a Mr. Numbers prop. He mentioned it on uh, the comments section on uh, Joe Niggs. He's like, hey, man, Julio Rodriguez, who's my guy? We like Julio. Homerless so far. And he's in Colorado for the weekend. He said you should look at the homer prop. It's plus 450. I wrote it down. So as much as Mr. Numbers, I, I, you got to love the guy. He comments after the fact on live shows. Always on Twitter. Talks himself in the third person as a genius. I love uh, it's hilarious. I love it. Anyway, I, and I you know I just I give shout outs to T Money KD Pounded uh, Corey Jones first comment ever in the Midday Money Show three years ago. The, the, all all the Facebookers right, Dennis Rick Abel uh, Brio. So I'll always give shout outs to people. Don't think I'm just picking on. Somebody, when I tease, when I get the pen out for a thank me later, please, I'll, I'll give you a little props and things like that. Especially a diehard like that guy. I got to get him out. He's got to come in as a guest. I just got to see who this guy is. Oh, man. All right. That's, uh, let's go see what we got in the comments. Michael Amato leading things off, and he loves it with the good after. Noon. Is that how I sound? Is that how it spells out? If I was to do a talk to text, would it come out that way? I say I just gave you a bunch of picks. That that's what I say. David's in the house. I need the Pellies to hit a fourteen parlay. Simon out hurts. It is paying eighteen to one. It does hurt. He's out. I I get the whole let's fade the injury report kind of thing, especially during a regular season. I don't know, man. Playoff time, a little tough to overcome a big loss like that. But I'll be pulling for you. Yeah, it's a good hit, right, Michael? Michael B is in the house. He's a premium YouTuber. Oh, happy Friday. Taking a shot on the Cubbies early game, fading the Miami bullpen. So, again, this spot for me, it's all about I really don't want to jump on Talion or any pitcher for that matter. We mentioned Verlander. First start especially against a Marlin team, they're 4-15. and 15. Have looked bad. The bullpen is atrocious. I mean, do you just do, want to do an over in this game? Just want to do an over. Save yourself the pain. Michael B says, so there's no UFC this week, but there's a PFL. Someone's asking for picks here. Yes, uh, Nick Nasty was looking for some fighting. Andre Koreshkov, plus 140. Neiman Gracie. Is he like a Gracie from like the Gracie clans? Plus $2. Bubba Jenkins, minus 150. Tomorrow. Kizarev and Logan Storley, minus 116. I guess that's a parlay. Hoss says, Cubby's run line. Uh, listen, you want to go run line. I I understand, right? The Marlins have not bad. You don't want to lay a 160, 170 here. Well, I see one, ah, 162. So what do you get? Plus 110? That Cubs hit at home. I like the Cubby's offense. We got a Cubby's over, so. Uh, Michael, I'm riding with the old faithful Braves team total of four and a half. I like it. You want to go over for that game as well? Let's do it. David says, Sean, I have a nice two-team hockey parlay for you. Carolina under six, Toronto plus the 110. So Carolina, I was thinking under in that game. I just said that. And you like Toronto as a doggy versus Boston. Anytime I can fade Boston, I'm on it. Oh, my God, it's Mikey P.O.D. Good to see you, Mike. Mike, you going to be on uh, going with Dave tonight? Dave's going to have a show. I haven't, I've not chatted with Mike live in a while. Give Mikey P.O.D. a follow. He's got the YouTube channel, but he's also on the Twitter world as well. There is the YouTube winning free picks. There is the Sean Higgs. Well, there's the other half of the whole place. And, of course, the Facebook group. Note Dennis O'Brien. I hope Dennis is well today. He's one of the first likers 
on Facebook. Michael says, they got the Sox Phillies nerfy. Yes, we talked about that last night. NBA, I'm with you on the Bulls without Jimmy Buckets. I don't think that he can get it done. But I'm on the Pellies. The world is better than the Kings. Pellies are a bad matchup. Kings in a letdown. How is it a letdown spot in the playoffs or in a playing game? I don't get that. If that's the case, every series goes seven games because you're a letdown spot after a win. I think the Kings play up to competition. Um, and the Pellies are missing arguably their best guy. Maybe people think other, somebody else is better. Maybe it's easy. I know they're going to rally around the missing troops. Let's go. I don't know, man. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Michael A. Uh, 100 to win, 1780. Akuna, Akuna run, Harris run, Azuna Ribby. Why do I think you could have this in the first inning? I <laughs> won't be shocked. Nick Nancy says, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. I guess this is a fight. Is this for Fight Club? Mikey M., where is your brother with some fight stuff? I need him or Dylon with some with some uh, fighting materials here. Michael Bush, Ruby spot for the Cubbies. I like Colorado. Are the Colorado Rockies? Or are you talking about the Colorado Avalanche? Do we have matchups against Winnipeg? Finally, some matchups. What do you think? What's that line there in that Colorado game? Do I take the Panthers team total over against Tampa Bay tomorrow? Or Sunday, I should say. Why do I want to take why do I want to take the Capitals too? Oh, says, bias Yankees fan here, but I love the Volpe kid. Glad they moved him to lead off. Yeah, I, you know, he's pretty good. He's, again, the hype was there, right? He was supposed to be a big prospect for them. Last year was not a terrible year. Just getting it done. I mean, he's having a nice season. You, you got to be happy. And, and as, he, you know, I'm a Yankee guy too. You know, I, I know Austin Wells is hitting. Uh, let the young guys play. Remember they had Andrew Hart one year hit like, 28 homers, and then they're like, oh, we don't need you. We're going to bring in somebody else. Like, if you're a Yankee fan, and, you know, any team fan, if you have a prospect, he's like a top five prospect in your system, I think the fans would be like, give him a shot. What are we doing here? Let him play. Save some money while you can because your pitching staff's in shambles. I don't care how well they've played so far because it's that's smoke and mirrors. You know, uh, don't don't get excited about that record. Michael I. Soto got a really nice payout with that short right field. Yeah, I uh, I grant the one seventy five because why do I think he's going to hit a homer? But I don't like homer props. I'm not a homer prop. You know, I you see him. I'm a lot of ribbies. We throw some runs in here sometimes. Buzz is in the house. Hello, Sean. I'm like the Cubbies today. Minus 165. For me, listen, you're doing that game, it's got to be a run line. I'm not laying 165 with a guy making his first start. I do like the Pirates, although I thought it would be a Marco Gonzalez. I guess he's on the injured list. I'm seeing uh, Priester coming out to get the nod here. I don't know. I, I said yes, I kind of like the Pirates, but now I got, um, you know, pitching. Yeah. Michael B says, MLB, I'm on the Natties. Fade and Verlander, sure. Giants D backs over to seven and a half. Yeah. I don't know. I like Monty. You know I'm a Monty supporter. Wilmer Flores Ribby, two dollars. Wilmer kills lefties. Why not? Do the Wilmer and the uh Conforto. If you're getting two to one out of their three four. I mean, these guys are hitting third and fourth on the team. Fourth and fifth. Robert says Philly no bottom line one one fifteen. A hundred percent better to lay in one seventy with the Turnbull ACs on the hill. Tooch is in the house. Happy Friday, fella. Good to see you. A little anniversary last week for the Tooch man. Uh, Jesse is back. Jesse's back. Tell a friend. Here he is. Are you going to crash the party today with uh, Doug Upstone in a half hour? 
Davis is coming in. The Reno Aces minus 130. I guess we're into the minor league baseball with our guy Davis. Davis always contributes on Facebook. I appreciate it, Davis. I know Davis doesn't like my pick sometimes, but he always comments. I love it. Rick Wild coming in with a like. Good to see you, Rick. Does Verlander have a minor league warm-up action, or is he coming in cold? Let's uh, let's pull up a little. No, he had minor league action because my son was at the game like a week and a half ago, and he got terrorized. He was um, so he was there with his buddy, and I, th- I think his dad, the, my buddy's his friend's father, goes to a bunch of games. I mean, I go to a lot of minor league games myself. I, I like going to the whether it was the Summers of Patriots or now. Sugarland, I enjoy it. Um, his AAA start here: three innings, seven hits, seven runs, six earned, eight eight uh, six strikeouts. Not too bad. His AA start: four innings, seven hits, six runs. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a. Uh, that's you really want to. Come in here and separate Verlander. No, thank you. Uh, the pen is out. Mel, you gave me the pen yesterday for Winnipeg series. What do you got for me today, Mel? Uh, Rockies, important distinction. Yes, very important. Yes. I like the Rockies as well today. Uh, short line, Mike. 115. I want to come out here with minus 350. Oh, they're going to be. No way. The Co- Colorado's going to be minus 350 on the road tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll give you Winnipeg to win a series. This is even better. Winnipeg game one and a series doubler plus 210. So, Mel, the pen is out. Uh, we got Winnie series plus 115. Winnie game one double plus 210. Winnie, Winnie and the Jets. Mike M says, my bro is in Indonesia or someplace. Jesse won't let him leave. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse's holding your brother hostage in Vietnam. He's holding him. He needs, he needs a thousand dongs. <laughs> to boost my guy. Good to see you. Sean and Jesse so far. I think I'm taking the Pirates today. Again, the Pirate line. I'm not loving the Pirate pitcher. I wanted the Pirates yesterday. It was a 125. Pitching change, 110. I'm a pass. Kings. Uh, we got the Kings in the chat here. Kings and the Bulls. Road warrior. We're going road hunting today. The Moose says, forget to say that if the line is plus one and a half, I'm buying a half point up to two for the Kings game. You're buying. Listen, if you're taking either one of these, whether you're taking the home team or the away team, just play the money line. Just play the money line. Be safe. Just play the money lines. Two point. You think you're going to lose by one? Don't do it. I hope Mike M is listening. Here's here. Mike M is listening. I hear you, Mel, but I'm not listening, he says. <laughs> Nick Nasty is laughing at me. That's got to be the Don comment. You know what the Dongs are. That's their money. Mel says, don't listen to Mike M on the Avs Jet Series. Listen to me, he says. <laughs> uh, I think the under is your best play if Winnipeg is winning game one. Under Mike P.O.D. says, under Winnie game one. I'm gonna I'm gonna put both of these in the chat for tomorrow. There'll be Winnipeg and the under game one. Michael B says never buy points, especially in basketball. I can't condone buying points. And this is my thought on buying points. Um why wouldn't you if if it's one or two, just do the money lines. And as much as I don't like laying, if you want to go to 130, 140, I, I could live with it. It's fine. Um, buying points in, in the NFL, right? I Like I say, in any sport here, if I'm taking an underdog, any any underdog short of t- under 10 points, I think is going to win outright, honestly. And I say this all the time. Whether it's in the uh, football, I'm getting 10. Uh, I'm really just like a turnover away from a, a touchdown, right? And at that point, it's a field goal game, and I could win this game outright. Right, so I feel that any kind of ten point dog should be in a game to win it, and even in the college, even the college or NBA basketball, because with the three point shot, you should be alive to drill a couple of late threes or something. So I don't want to buy points. 
If you're taking a dog, it should win outright. If you're taking a favorite, it shouldn't be close. That's my simple caveman thinking. Nathan says, my guy Higgy. Count all the money from last night. Excellent job, Nathan. I know you had, um, what you have? Plus, you had a big payout from the poker machine or something, right? Just remember who gave you Winnipeg. I, I wrote it down. It's written down twice. It's on yesterday's page. Mel, Winnipeg, series, plus 115. And then it's on today's page. There's POD under, and there's Mel, winning series, winning game one. I write them down. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't get people want to – well, not they're saying about me, but I, I write this stuff down. People say, get the pen out. Oh, I'm writing – the pen is out, folks. It is out. And you'll be held accountable in this life or the next for your for your takes. Mike Beast, if you want a better line, bet it live. You always got a better line betting NBA game. Yeah, because somebody's going to get down 10 points, and the line's going to be ridiculous. Bet it live. Yes, sir. Nick Nasty says, writing it down at Mel. Write it down, Nick Nasty. There goes the bet. <laughs> uh, I wrote it down twice. It has to happen now. Yes. It's it's a you write it down twice because if you write it down three times it's a charm and it's guaranteed. Timu says I look at the money line but I disagree I don't like lose by a hook or by points. Listen, my whole college basketball season of a losing season was based on losing by uh, less than three points this year. I think I had like eighty five games this ridiculous losses. So I'm all I totally understand losing by a hook and one point. It's painful. I get it. I get it. Nick Handy's in the house. Handy dandy. Michael I says, the pen equals accountability, folks. And it is a pen. It is a pen. It's not, I'm not in here with a pencil. There's no erasing going on. Mel says, I want accountability. I want the smoke. <laughs> Take a picture of last logo. As opposed to the pen? Good Lord. I love the pen. All right, so we got Phillies under eight, Yankees run line, Brew Crew minus 125, Arizona plus 115 against Michael's San Francisco Giants. NBA, we're going Bulls of Kings money line. Nothing on the ice, but we'll be adding that Winnipeg as a as a as a chat play here. What day is that? Oh, that is Sunday. So Saturday. I haven't added yet, but um Carolina under will most likely be here tonight when I do late night money. Uh, the Winnipeg and Winnipeg under will be here uh, along with uh, – I, I might do a Florida puck line. Haven't been any hockey yet. Haven't been any hockey. But that's what I'm looking at here. Uh, Money Monday, we got Vegas and Dallas. It's just a weird staggering of hockey. Two on set. Oh, hockey, what are you doing in life? What are you doing? Uh, game one is Sunday, 5 p.m. Mountain Time with Winnipeg. Yes, it is. Keep fading, my guy. Showing these days, snow will pitch well. Yeah, I will in, in, in May. Not now. Go to the snow. Who brought up the snow numbers the last two years? Snell. Uh, first, like, month plus of the season. Brutal. Desmond. Vegas Golden Knights all the way. It, I'm not saying it's a homer play. Desmond's always in a sports book on Fremont Street, but it could be. Mel says, Sean, Edmonton is absolutely making the Western Conference Finals now. They were gifted a perfect path with those results last night. The Edmonton Oilers gifted a path. I don't know if anybody's gifted paths. Because uh, they got the Kings. I, I, I want to take the Kings on Monday. I'll be a Kings backer. Bill McDonald's in the house. What do you think about the A's Guardians under? Yes. And I actually like the A's here. Because, one, I'm still not sold on the Cleveland offense, number one. Uh, A's offense is a little scrappy. I think they could 
get some runs off um, Tristan McKenzie, who's hasn't been sharp since coming back from his injury last year. It could take him some time to get into form. But even with them scoring a few runs, could this be like a 4-2 game either way? That's what I didn't do. I should have looked at an A's Ruby prop for Zach Gellif. That's what I should have did, because I think they're going to score a run or two here against McKenzie. I might do that in my personal world. Verlander is facing Mackenzie Gore. You don't want to take Verlander. Michael B., have a good one. Thanks for popping in. Nick Nasty, see you tonight. Sean says, Mel, find a number on Edmonton to make the Western Conference final and hammer it. Oh, boy. We're going to stop hammer time. Brio's in the house. Good to see you, Brio. And there's Dennis O'Brien with the like. We got a triple like on the Facebook crew today. Thank you, Facebook, for coming in strong. If you haven't already, uh, YouTubers winning free picks, Sean Higgs, come say hello. If you're on Twitter, go to one of the channels and hit the like button. So I know you're there. I'm not sure how the YouTube, or excuse me, the Twitter algorithms goes. Because is everybody watching? Is it just when it comes up on a timeline? You, you catch five seconds, it catches as a view. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Got to lure you into the YouTube channels for a like. To feel like I'm doing something correct. Matt T's in the house. Hey, Sean, what do you think about Casey Moneyline and over the nine? Oh, the Royals and the Orioles. I want to take the O's today. Just because, one, I, I just think they're the better team, number one, right? Uh, this was a 135-ish last night. Has not moved one bit. Not a bit. You want to come in maybe with these two pitchers. You want to look at a... Uh, player props and Ruby kind of stuff, sure. Marsh, I don't hate. They're hot, right? They've won. There's, I think, eight and two at home or something like that. Seven and three run. Kansas City, eight and two at home. Eight and two at home. And again, this anybody else? If it was, you know, obviously, if it's Grace Rodriguez, who I love, I'd be, I'd be on on the O's here. But Kramer's guy who gives up runs. I don't hate taking Casey here at a little plus money. They're playing well. I prefer the over, though, because the Orioles, I think, could hit like champs themselves. Desmond's coming in. He's the 14th like. Wonderful. Do you have any idea what a 1,000 dongs will get you? I have no idea what a 1,000 dongs will get me. <laughs> Nats team total over three and a half. Yes, I do like it. I think they score Verlander. Verlander, not good. A coffee at Starbucks costs 100,000 dongs. Wow. So a thousand dong is not getting us much. Not much. Maybe it maybe a Tootsie roll. I burn through about ten million per day on my holiday. Ten million. <laughs> ten million dongs. That's a you'd be a a a, a point top a point was that oh one percent earner on OnlyFans going through ten million dongs a day. <laughs> uh to Moose, I know that's a Ryan from Avoca, Pennsylvania, says Tommy. Mel says, Sean, here it is. Edmonton to win two plus rounds is plus 165. The pen is out. Mel, Oilers win two plus rounds plus 165. Lock it in with the Kings popping in. Desert says, good morning, Jesse. I like the Royals as well. That's a great idea. All right. I got to roll out because I got to get ready for Ross and Doug. No Jesse today. He's just freshly minted back from his vacation. Yes, that makes you a 1%, right, Mike? Uh, you could watch Mr. Perfect take off the yellow unitard. <laughs> oh, Nathan. Cubby's minus 175. No. Tally owns for a start. Just say no. Just say no. I mean, run line one ten, sure. One seventy five, no. Do the do the Bush Ruby prop, like Mikey Pod said. I mean, probably it takes two to three people to get you in and out of your leotard. <laughs> Mel, have a good one. Next show will be coming up at one o'clock. I'll tweet it out, Mike, on the Twitter world. What's the uh, can't mention it in here. It's a different channel. It's a different channel. 
Nathan says it's safer. Definitely safer. Definitely safer than laying 175. All right. Um, what is Desmond saying? Have a good one. Cubby Baseball, Sarah Casino, Chicky and Pete's. Big Chicky and Pete's guy. I went to Chicky and Pete's down in ACL. Yeah, that's all right. Last call. Phillies under eight. Yankees run line. Braves minus 125. Braves. Brewers minus 125. Arizona plus 115. Bulls and the Kings in the NBA. Tamu says, Jesse, I want to say a thousand dongs will get you, but I can't say it. <laughs> this is Taboose. King D, thanks for popping in. I know you got here a little late, but um, I appreciate you stopping in. I will be here for late night money. Hope to see everybody then. Twitter, Mr. Sean Eggs. Gio, you're welcome. I'm out of here. <laughs>